Oh my gosh, they finally did it. They finally released an update for this. I can't believe it. Basically, as you can see here, Roblox creators can now customize the default settings of objects inserted in Studio, right? And as you can see, Asmo saying, which I replied to, um, new parts can now be anchored, finally. Oh my gosh, and I was like, and disable reset on spawn on screen GUIs. Basically, you can set it where when you insert a new object into Roblox, right? Like insert a new part into the workspace, whatever, a new UI. You can make it where like you set up what the default object of that will be, like the default of that will be. So like if you insert a part, you can set all the default properties for that part, such as like anchored. And if we go here, right, and like scroll down a little bit, I rage coded a plugin because of this Roblox property. This video was basically me, like literally, I, I made a plugin because the reset on spawn property for screen GUIs is um, true by default and it was really annoying and it caused me to like actually like rage because I couldn't figure out a problem, whatever. You can go watch the video if you want. And I made a plugin to set reset, reset on spawn to false by default, right? But now, because of this, you can just have it be default without a plugin. So basically, you know, how do you do it? Um, it's really simple, honestly. So if we just insert a part, you know, just as is, we'll keep it default as much as possible so that the default part stays relatively the same. But all we're going to do is in the part, you know, maybe just we'll, we'll, um, anchored is enable. Actually, I already did this for anchored, but we'll, we'll change like the color in this case to like, you know, red and maybe change like the transparency to 0.5. Um, we could set the size to like three, 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 right? Um, so if you do all that and then you select the part, go to edit in the top left, all the way down to save as default part, set that. And now any new part we add is that default part, you know, and we can like adjust these, right? And this isn't the default part, obviously, cause we haven't set it as the new one. Add a new one, see default part. Like I'm not like copy and pasting. This is legit, you know? Um, and then if you want to reset the default part back to what it originally is, you just go to edit or sorry, you have to put another part in, select the part, go to edit, reset default part, right? And you can delete that, add a new part and then see it's, it's just as the default. But yeah, like what I'm going to be doing personally is go here, set anchored to true, edit, save as default part. And I believe I already did it for UI. I actually don't know. But if you had a screen GUI, yeah, I have reset on spawn set to false. Of course, it's true by default. But oh my gosh, you can do this on any object. Like if you just select the object in the Explorer, go to edit, you can do it with any object um, from what I know, any instance. Can you... Okay, you can't do it to services, which makes sense. It has like the option there, but it's like grayed out. Um... Unless, like, if I change something. Yeah, you, you definitely can't. Okay. Um, that's actually kind of... I wonder for, like, certain things. Like, starter player, right? Since since you could change, like, the walk speed to, like, something else. No, you can't even do it for something like starter player. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, I'm editing the video right now. Obviously, you can't do it on services because you can't insert a service into the game. That's, I'm dumb for even thinking that you could potentially do that. Sorry, guys. Anyways, back to the video. <laughs> um, but yeah, for like regular instances, parts, UIs, you know, all that, you can now have a default version of it to your own liking. And I think that's awesome. And this is, I'm so happy about this, guys. This is so exciting. Um, but yeah, that's all for me and catch you all next time. Bye.